This is a VR to the Ramblin' Scotsman. I like that name. I too am of Scottish heritage. Smoking a little vintage cube from Edwards. Uh, English with uh, Perique. I'm trying to find the Tampa Edwards uh, equivalent to Northwoods. I haven't found it yet. Probably is no equivalent. So, um, the uh, Ramblin' Scotsman asked, what is your battle? His battle is his wave. Sometimes I forget I'm not in a YTDC video. My battle uh, is finding a career, an actual career. Ever since high school, uh, they made me take um, a, a placement test. Uh, I remember in high school they made me take this placement test find out where you fall as far as interests and all that. And I remember after the uh, test was over, the guy came up to me after he did, he reviewed him or whatever. He was like some guy that came into the school. He wasn't a teacher. And he said, you have very unusual uh, results. He goes, you're not really interested in anything, are you? And I'm like, well, at least nothing on that sheet. You know, they make you like, they have like different categories and you rate them and all that, right? Yeah, at least on that sheet, nothing, I don't even remember what was on it, but I just remember nothing really interested me on that sheet. And, uh, he acted like it was very unusual or whatever, right? Well, uh, ever since then, you know, I went to college or whatever, I didn't graduate, uh, I didn't know what I was going to do, I was kind of fucking off. Uh, I went for like two and a half years and just kind of dropped out. And, um, you know, I, I uh, looked into different careers since then, uh, somebody said to me, you know, oh, what do you like to, what do you love to do? If money was no option, you know, the whole, what would you love to do? What's your passion? I don't really have one. Um, I always tell everybody, porn. I love women. Porn. What, I mean, what, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I love women. Um, but, seriously, I, I told that one guy, this was when I was in my mid-twenties, I said, uh, I really enjoy music. Well, alright. He's like, well, well, would you ever think about maybe recording music for a living? You know, working with people? And, uh, I was like, alright, I'll look into that. So I took the tour of this local trade school, uh, art school thing. They had a brand new program, audio engineering. I looked into that. And when I went in there, the person, um, the, the person that I was talking to, and we sat down in this room, and she starts telling me about all these other programs, and I'm like, well, I'm not interested in that. No, I'm here for the audio engineering. Well, you know, we have this fashion design on um, that into that. And then she goes, well, it seems like you know what you want. Like, it was so scripted, and it made me very suspicious immediately of this school because of the how scripted that whole thing, that all interaction went, and I'm like, I don't know if I want to go here, it sounds like a scam now, you know, it seems like you know what you want, so uh, let's look into this, to the, you know, uh, you know, the uh, courses in the uh, audio engineering, and then I was like, I don't know now, so then I was like, alright, what if I don't go to that school, so looked around, and uh, Tampa and Orlando offer um, 
recording studios offer uh, classes and certification, right? And it's more one-on-one, -on -one and that's how, and it's way cheaper, right? But I just didn't have the money either anyway, because the big school would probably give me the loan. The little school, you have to come up with the money, the, the recording studio, which is like three or four grand. So I'm like, all right, I can't afford that. And uh, that pretty much, you know, did away with that. Plus, I'm not, you know, the passion part would be not listening to the music. I enjoy listening to music. The passion part would be being a nerd about recording techniques. Like, I do not look into recording programs. I don't sit there and dream about recording people. So that isn't really a passion of mine to, you know, sit there and record people. And, you know, it, and then I start thinking of all the, the downsides of, like, how sporadic it is. You know, you, uh, is it by job by job? What if it's a slow few months and all this shit? So, I've looked into other careers since then. I'm like, I need to make some money. You know, I'm tired of making what I make uh, at my job. I work in a restaurant. Um... I really would like to make some money. I don't care about, you know, if it's hard work. Um, I want to learn a trade or something, you know. So I looked into welding, and just like everything I've always looked into my whole life, I just start seeing all, like, the downsides, and it just seems so unappealing that I don't want to pursue it. The welding, I was watching all these welding accident videos on YouTube. Uh, my friend's saying that there's a high, uh, instance of getting gangrene, you know, because metal will jump into your body and, you know, it's very, that's a very dangerous job. It can be very dangerous. I called up the local, um, welding instructor at the community college. He doesn't call me back. I'm like, well, I'm going to take that as a sign because, uh, my buddy knows the instructor at the college, so I was like, all right, let me try this out. It's, a uh, low debt to benefit ratio. See, I'm not... That was another thing that turned me up about universities is the uh, amount of scam degrees that they're churning out that get you don't get you a job. And uh, they're very general degrees. And uh, What pretty much stopped me from finishing college was college algebra, which isn't even the highest... Um, uh, math that most degrees require anyway, and I was just completely lost. Meanwhile, I'm getting an A in the uh, college English. You know, other courses I excel at. Um, I had a, uh, a summer, I took a summer course, college English, you know, the it was the accelerated, they, they jam it all into like whatever it is, how many weeks in the summer, and I got an A in that. And uh, you know, I had sociology, uh, humanities, all the other stuff I passed. Psychology, I missed the exam I passed, you know, because I, I was doing so well in that. But the math kept uh, stopping me. I just never was good at it. So that kind of turned me off to uh, university, plus the fact that I could get a degree and it does nothing for me. I've seen people with those degrees and they, it does nothing for them. And they have this massive debt, which I do not want, if it doesn't give me anything in return. So like I said, I went the, um, I tried the uh, trade route, I looked into welding, and the danger factor seemed too high. Um, my friend told me a story of some guy welding, and then they dropped a beam. It was a construction area, and they dropped the beam and crushed this guy's leg. I don't know. Um, of course, you know, if you're working with people, there's always a chance of, of health risk. Even at a computer job, I understand that. You're sitting, and it increases your likelihood of, of uh, cardio disease and all that. It's heart disease. Um... But that's my battle. My, I, I can never focus on one thing and complete it. I always find something in it that just makes me not want to pursue it. I'm just not passionate enough or something. And I am at a point where I'm like, just, you know, I need 
anything, uh, some kind of trade that's not too dangerous, doesn't require a whole lot of debt, you know, as far as training wise. I mean, I'm willing to do anything. I just want to work hard. I'm a hard worker. I work hard at my job. People, you know, like the work I do. I've always had those re kind of uh, reviews of how much of a hard worker I am, and I like to learn stuff and do it right. Um, I don't like to cut corners. I care about guidelines and stuff. Yet, I can't sink my teeth into anything. That's my battle. And, uh... in a warehouse for nine years, and I knew I don't want to do that because it's just, it feels like you're in jail. There's no windows. The pay was okay. Still wasn't good enough. I mean, I'm 35 years old. I don't have kids because of this. Because I, I do not want to have kids until I make decent money, and I can't seem to find any way to make decent money. On top of the fact that the economy, you know, sucks, but I still see people uh, getting, you know, all right jobs through with education and stuff. I mean, it still happens. <laughs> I don't know. My dad's like, oh, you know, use your art. I'm like, I haven't drawn in, you know, I haven't drawn for fun since I was like 11 years old. I'm 35 years old. You still tell, talk to me about do something in the art field. Well, I tried to go to that same school for the audio, for graphic design, but they require college algebra, which I cannot do. And they used to not require it. Now they do. So it's like, well, what's the point? I could just go to community college and get a graphic graphic design degree because the whole point of a trade school is to bypass some of the prerequisites that a community college like college level math to go ahead and teach me the trade, teach me the course, and I pay more money. That's why you pay more money at a trade school. It costs more. Uh, <laughs> but now they require it because they want to be accredited. It's like, well, what the hell? Why would I do that? I'll just go to a community college and pay less. They still require it. What the hell's the difference? It's all very confusing. It's very frustrating. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm into a lot of things very little, but not one thing very big. I like pipes. I like music. Um, I just, I don't know. That's my battle. It's been my battle ever since I was 18. Damn it. The one thing I don't like about Vintage Cube is it keeps popping out on you. It keeps burning you. I don't know what that's all about. I'm not blowing into it. Anyway, okay, that's my battle. This thing is at 14 minutes. I apologize. Most of you probably stopped watching 13 minutes ago. See? See my math? See, I have to... <laughs> Alright.